So in this video, we want to be able to describe each of these single transformations. Okay, so we want to be able to write down all of the key information that goes with them. What sort of transformation it is, um, in which, uh, whether it's parallel to the x-axis or the y-axis, reflection of the x-axis, y-axis, by which factor. Okay, so we need to get all the information down. So this first one, number one, this, because the 5 is outside the f of x, this is a stretch parallel to the y-axis. And because it's parallel to the y-axis, it's outside of the function. It stays as it is shown. So it's factor 5. Whereas number 2, this is also a stretch, but it is in uh, is parallel, sorry, to the x-axis. And because it's parallel to the x-axis, it's inside the bracket, and so it's the opposite, so it's the reciprocal for its factor, so 1 over 6. Now for number 3, this was a type of reflection. So, you just need to determine which it is. Was it the x-axis? Was it the y-axis? Now think, x has been transformed to minus x. The x has changed sign. So if you visualise a point like 1, 3, and then that's been transformed to minus 1, 3, that's a reflection in the y-axis. Now for number 4, this was definitely a translation. Now, what is the vector? Well, the number inside the bracket, remember, changes, okay, swaps to positive 2. The one outside stays the same, in much the same way as you would read the coordinates of the vertex of a parabola. Number 5 is definitely a stretch. It's inside the bracket, so it's parallel to the x-axis. And because it is inside the bracket, it is the reciprocal uh, factor, and so it's four-thirds this time. Number six, because the minus is outside the bracket, uh, outside f, this must be a reflection in the x-axis. If you're unsure, if you hadn't have had this one and had that one verified, then think of a coordinate, like one, two again, the y-coordinate this time is changing sign, so 1, 2 becomes 1 minus 2, and so that's a reflection uh, in the x-axis. And the last one, number 7, this is definitely another translation. So, the number inside the bracket changes sign, the one outside stays the same, so minus 3, minus 2. And that is how we can describe these transformations.